Traditional cooking practices in this village contribute to human health problems. People are cooking around these open flames. They're inhaling a lot of the ash and other pollutants that are coming from the fire. The smoke from these fires is very harmful to human health. Um, it has all sorts of effects on respiratory health, for example, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, uh, higher rates of asthma, higher rates of lung, lung disease, of, of lung cancer, for example. Uh, we know as well that the carbon monoxide can have adverse effects in pregnancy. There's also evidence that this leads to higher cardiovascular disease. From last year's research, we're also aware that there's high levels of hypertension in this village specifically. So right now, we're seeing if those high levels of high blood pressure could be linked to poor air quality as well. We're using different perspectives and students from different levels to address this global health issue. This is a very important component of global health in general in terms of using teamwork and bringing people with different perspectives and different experiences to address a single problem. This project is very well suited for the Bass Connections model because we have elements of human health, environmental health, and conservation biology. And it's uh, a really a great opportunity to have undergraduates involved who have different interests. Air pollution is something I never think about and hearing all the health impacts that I've never realized, it just gives me a broader perspective on what I'm interested in. So one of the things that we're doing is collecting general health data, and this includes things like blood pressure and temperature, height and weight, so we can calculate BMI. We're going to use some of these health parameters and correlate them to other data that we're collecting. In addition, we're investigating the kinds of stoves that we could bring in uh, that would provide more fuel efficiency, lower particulate matter in the air, um, and therefore help their health and also uh, help the forest. I've been at Duke for a long time, but this is really one of the first opportunities I've had to work on a project that's research focused but also has really broad applications where I know the research could be used down the road to actually help somebody or help something. We're not just researching problems, we're also coming up with solutions for problems. We hope that this project can benefit the community in a number of ways. One is that by collecting all these general health data, we'll be able to actually influence how people think about their health and potentially take responsibility for their health in the future. Additionally, we hope that investigating traditional cooking practices will again potentially inform people's decisions in terms of how they cook and where they cook and what they're exposing their families to. Maro ni tumbutsua, azu ni puna itu mandena, yentindu piyana tapikaruka, nyeza karizareu, mba ampiyana tawe, utanzo ni La cuisine va mangara passa la main, ça tient mon pied à architecte on y a dit c'est une sorbonne. What excites me most about this project is the potential that we have to make a real impact here. I think the combination of our different experiences and what we bring to the table is going to create a really meaningful product in the end, and will really have a true impact on the community. 